Good morning. It's the 12th of August and this morning we're going to read together from Psalm 44. O oh God, we have heard it with our own ears. Our ancestors told us of all that you did in their days, in days long ago. You drove out the pagan nations by your power. You gave all the land to our ancestors. You crushed their enemies and set our ancestors free. You did not conquer the land with their swords. It was not their own victory that gave them that gave them victory. It was your right hand and strong arm and the blinding light from your face that helped them, for you loved them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Israel. Only by your power can we push back our enemies. Only in your name can we trample our foes. I do not trust in my bow. I have... I do not count on my sword to save me. You are the one who gives us victory over our enemies. You disgrace those who hate us. O oh God, you give, we give glory to you all day long and constantly praise your name. But now you have tossed us aside in dishonour. You, you no longer lead our on, armies to battle. You make us retreat from our enemies and allow those who hate us to plunder our land. You have butchered us like sheep and scattered us among the nations. You sold your precious people for a pittance, making nothing on the sale. You let our neighbours mock us. We were an object of scorn and discern for those around us. You have made us the butt of their jokes. They shake their heads at us in scorn. We cannot escape the constant humiliation. Shame is written across our faces. All we hear are the taunts of our mockers. All we see are our vengeful enemies. All this has happened though we have not forgotten you. We have not violated your covenants. Our hearts have not deserted you. We have not strayed from your path, yet you have crushed us in the jackal's desert home. You have covered us with darkness and death. We have forgotten the name, if we have forgotten the name of our God, or spread our hands in prayer to foreign gods, God would surely have known it, for he knows the secrets of every heart. Yet for your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. Wake up, O Lord, why do you sleep? Get up, do not reject us forever. Why do you look the other way? Why do you ignore the suffering and oppression? We collapse in the dust, lying face down in the dirt. Rise up, help us, ransom us, because of your unfailing love. Amen. The end of Psalm 44. Again, a, another psalm, another prayer of crying out to God. Um, at the start of it, it's remembering what God has done for the people in days gone by. But then wondering why things are so hard for them now. And they claim that they have not strayed from God. But we know from the history of the Old Testament as we read through it, that time and time again, his people turned away from him. And God gave them a very clear word, a very clear promise. If you follow me, I am with you. If you turn your back on me, if you worship other gods, I am not with you. And, and they suffer the consequence of their actions. Today, I think we've forgotten very much the consequence of actions. You know, we sometimes say we're sorry. Um, you know, certainly with injustice, you know, we can get a slap on the wrist and carry on. And, and we forget about paying the cost of our mistakes. It's the same um, when it comes to God, that we pay the cost of not following God. But at the same time, you know, if you take it at face value, if the people haven't turned their back on God, then, then why do these things happen? Why is there suffering? Well, they're living in a world that's full of sin, in a world that's ruled by Satan and all his followers, a, a world which does not like God and does not like those who follow God. So yes, we can expect hardship in this world. We can expect suffering. But we hold on to God. We hold on to that love that he has for us. Look at that last line. Ransom us because of your own feeling love. God's love's always there. And even though we can't see the rhyme or reason quite often the way things happen and, and, and we think about suffering, there, there is still that plan which God has for us. We just have to hold on to it. So maybe as you read over the psalm again, as you read the, the highs and lows of it, you can remember that, you know, we can't blame God for all our suffering. We have to take responsibility for the world that we live in and the sin of that world. 
but we have to hold on to God and keep our eyes firmly fixed on him. So let's pray about that this morning. Father, thank you for all that you have done for us and all that you continue to do for us. Lord, help us to, to fix our eyes upon you, to hold on to you in all times and all circumstances. Father, you are a great and a wonderful God and we thank you for that. Please continue to be with us and help us this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow. Take care. God bless.